This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. It was a beautiful day at Ascot for Britain's richest turf prize, the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes. The field included Alice Lady Derby's Acropolis, number nine, Mrs. McGrath's Arctic Time, number 10, Lady Ursula Vernon's Hugh Lupus, number 11, Madame Volterra's Phil Drake, number 12, hot favorite, and Monsieur Wertheimer's Vimy, number 13. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, naturally had a special interest in this event which bears her name. The field was sent away to a good start on the mile and a half gallop. Acropolis, with a white noseband, fairly leapt into the lead and held onto it. He evidently intended to make up for his failure to win the derby. Arctic time, Hugh Lupus and the derby and Grand Prix de Paris winner Phil Drake went far behind. But Acropolis continued to show the way round to the straight. He was still in front when Poincelet on Vimy found a gap near the rails and seized his chance. Losing his cap but riding for victory, he brought Vimy through to challenge Acropolis. It certainly was a tremendously exciting finish. Never before had this £23,000 race been won by a runner from overseas. But this year, the camera gave the prize to the French three-year-old Vimy by a head. 